Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, to the honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahashem, as in the name Raka, Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth. And it's a city shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. The title of this video, Lord Willing, it's going to be a hundredfold. All right. And uh, let me just start here the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Let me actually go to the blue letter here. Uh, Matthew 19. Matthew 19 and 27. It says, What shall we have therefore? Verse 28, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, so as as following the Lord now, the reincarnation, it says, When the Son of Man shall sit in the glory of his in in the throne of his glory, ye, ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel you know so the Lord pretty much promises and promising us rulership man okay dominion all right and you know to be able to judge the nation of Israel okay being a, a king man the revelation Chapter 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations, man. So the Lord is, is pretty much promising us, you know, us to be kings, man. Okay, judging these other nations. Okay, judging our people. Okay, being a ruler in righteousness. Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron because these other nations they're going to be they're going to uh, they're going into slavery man so we're going to rule them with a rod of iron you know beat them when they're out of order or when we feel like it you know it says as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father so we're going to beat the backs of these heathens man you know just as a you know beat the back of our lord okay this is that uh, that recompense, you know, that the Lord is going to give back to us. This is, uh, just another quick prayer here. Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So we got to wait upon the Lord. The vengeance is, uh, the Lord said the vengeance is mine. Okay, so wait, wait ye upon him. Uh, going back to Matthew now chapter 19, verse 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Okay, so, so forsaken this world, man. Okay, you know, not serving your children over the Lord, not serving your, your woman over the Lord, man. Not serving your mother, I mean your father or your mother, your brother, your sister over the Lord, man. Okay, not doing wickedness, you know, serving your how about Shmuel Shah, pleasing him rather than pleasing men. All right, let me get a hundredfold here. Strong's G, 1542. 
He ka tanta plasion. He ka tanta plasion. And it says hundredfold, a hundred times as much. So, man, the Lord is not going to withhold anything from us, man. There's not going to be any limit, you know, to what the Lord is going to bless us with in the kingdom. So, uh, Psalms. Psalms 85 and 84. Psalms 84. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, power is a sun and shield. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, will give grace and glory. So the Lord giving out grace man you know we in this grace period now okay and soon the lord is going to be giving us glory man lord willing we endure into the end it says no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly so the lord is not going to withhold anything from us man you know the lord is going to give us everything that we want man in righteousness man everything that we want in righteousness this is um Because Esau, man, he's not giving you, you know, he'll give you everything you want in wickedness, man. Okay? And still, it's a cap to that. Okay? But there's no cap to our, to the Heavenly Father. There's no cap to our power. This is, uh, Second Peter's 1. In uh, verse 10, it says, Wherefore the rather brethren... Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and, and Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, so that the Lord is going to give us that glory, man. Okay? You know? Scripture says, you know, even, even before the... For the Lord returns, and the scripture says, The Lord shall make us to be turned into fine gold. You know, that's going to be truly in it, uh, at its peak, I would say, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, but that's going to happen on this side as well, man. Okay, because in the time of Jacob's trouble, right, you know, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a prize, man. Just like in the book of Eli, you know, he had that wisdom. Okay, he wasn't, he wasn't your average man. You know, so that's how the men of the Lord are going to be in a time of trouble. This is um, Romans chapter 8 and uh, verse 17. It says, if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with them, that we may be also glorified together, you know. So glorified together with the Lord. The Lord is coming back in glory, man. All right, it says that white horse, that, that's pure power, man. You know, the Lord is, the scripture says the Lord is not coming back to meet us as a man. Let me get that word, uh, joint heirs here. It says, Strong's G, 4789. Sug Kleranamas. Sug Kleranamas. And it says, a fellow heir, a joint heir, one who obtains something assigned to himself with others, a joint participant. Okay, so the Lord is going to be, you know, the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings. Okay, so we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. You know, we're going to be kings right along with, with the Lord, man, Lord willing. Okay. And speaking of the first fruits, man, first fruits, you know, they always get the best, you know, so we're trying to be at that first fruits, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. And uh, verse 18 says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Okay, so the things that we're going through now, man, it's not worthy to be compared. Okay, because the glory that we're going to get in the kingdom of heaven, 
You know, it's going to, like it says in the book of Job, man, as a dream, man, shall vanish away as a dream, you know, so Esau's rulership ain't just, just a bad dream, man, okay? Because all the glory and the things that the Lord is going to give us, man, in the kingdom of heaven, you know, women, uh, accessories, you know, besides, you know, being righteous, the Lord is going to give us, well, uh, Everything, anything our hearts desire, man. Okay. Um, yeah. Scripture is slipping my mind. I had to roughly paraphrase it as well. Because, um, you know, whatever we even think, you know, the Lord is going to make it appear. I believe it's Isaiah. I think it was Isaiah 65. I'll just read this here. Isaiah 66 and verse 22. It says, For as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, say of the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. The Lord is promising us everlasting life, man. You know, that's a big deal. Immortality, man. You know, because we got to worry about the flesh. Worry to, you know, you have to worry about dying. You know, that's another thing that the Lord is going to do away with with the nation, only with the nation of Israel, though. Okay? And it says, verse 23, And there shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Shabbat to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Okay? You know, everybody, everybody's going to serve Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay? Um... get this one as well Isaiah 65 and 17 for behold I create new heavens and a new earth and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind you see it's going to be as a bad dream the former shall shall not be remembered man and shall not come into mind we're not going to be thinking about man in Babylon man I ain't have I ain't have money as, as much man we're going to be we're going to be so, so rich, man, you know, that we're not even going to think about the captivity that we just went through. I know what the scripture says, before they speak, I shall answer. Come on. I'll close with this. It'll be the Lord's will. Isaiah 65 and verse 20. I'm going to start at 20. Yeah, phone finna die. Isaiah 65 and 20. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old. But the sinner at 100 years old shall be accursed. You know, immortality pretty much. Verse 21. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and they eat and eat the fruit there, uh, eat the fruit of them. 
because we go to Deuteronomy 28th chapter, you know, that was a curse that we shall uh, plant, uh, that we shall build and not dwell in, you know, toil in the fields and not shall not eat the fruit thereof, the labor, roughly paraphrasing. All right, verse 22, they shall not build and another inhabitant, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect, mine elect, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. So we're going to be doing work, but we're going to be enjoying it. If we have to work, it's a choice. <laughs> you know, it's going to be, it's not going to be like his work. It's going to be things that we love to do. You know, they even say that in the world today. If you're doing something you love, you're not really working. It says, they shall not labor in vain, nor bring bring forth for trouble, for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, Yahweh, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The Lord is not going to withhold anything, man, a hundredfold. So with that, you know, the Lord will in this uh, video is out of I'm going to close, give all praise on the glory. To Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Till next lesson, I say Shalom, and Baba Shalom.